A great shock awaits Winston on his return. Despite the immense gratitude the British people feel towards him, they are dubious of the old warrior's ability to manage the peace. The man who won and the we war are going has home lost the from Hershey Park. Churchill Hershey. feels humiliated. At the Potsdam conference, he is replaced by the new yeah. leader, Labour's Clement Attlee, a man who Winston That's has right. described We're as going a home. modest I'm man ready. with much to be modest about. Churchill is extremely depressed, and so inevitably, his black dog that. starts barking oh, yeah. louder than ever. I can't school myself to do nothing for the rest of my life. It would have been better to have been killed in an aeroplane, or to have died like Roosevelt, he says. Clementine rather welcomes the return to normal life. For Winston, it is hell. He becomes like extremely that, irritable. Clementine writes to her daughter Mary, We, we seem, instead hit. of clinging to each other, to be always having scenes. He is so unhappy. The imminent disintegration so... of the British Empire further yeah. saddens him. For an old school imperialist, the independence of yeah, India the Labour Party this. proposes is heartbreaking. Oh, no, no. But Winston is not by his last shot. So the stuff. former yeah. cavalier of the Fourth Bazaars awesome. saddles up again and picks up where yeah. he left off. Right the French Riviera, the casinos, the cigars and brandy, new writing, so and his one true news painting. He will once again find a way to influence history. Invited by uh, President Truman in March 1946 uh, to speak at Missouri's Fulton University, up, so Winston, no longer a player on the world stage, proclaims aloud what is being whispered in the corridors of power, if you have that Soviet dead, expansionism represents a new mortal threat to democracy. Well, in the Baltic, I'm coming your favorite Hershey candy, candy. down below. We're finally out of that tunnel. This speech, which marks the beginning of the Cold War, rings out across the century. So, okay. But Winston has not simply exposed the problem, he is also proposing a solution. To deal with Soviet expansionism, the only course of action is to unify those European countries that have escaped its clutches. In Zurich, The Hague and Strasbourg, he defends the same credo, the United States.